So that's looking pretty good. Took a little bit of manipulating, but I got it in there. And if you haven't noticed, the radiator sagged on this side. Well, I found out why. There's a mount on the bottom. It's a cast aluminum, I think it is, mount, and it busted off. So the radiator and intercooler and all that is just sagging there. But it's not hard to get to. If I go back up to the junkyard, it's there's two bolts down through there. If I got that intercooler piping off, I could get to right there. You can see it, this piece. That's busted off. Normally it comes out to here and the radiator sits on top of it. So I need to go get that mount and uh, a bumper pad and that electrical connector that looks like this one. So I'm gonna run to the junkyard, but first, since uh, I got this all straightened out now, I did not wanna bring the key in and have this hooked to the lift because if the strap breaks, it would've put a huge dent inside of the Kia. So I didn't wanna do that. Uh, but just playing it safe. So, yeah, everything lined up pretty good. That, that wasn't too bad. So, yeah, big old ratchet straps, some hammers, um, port of power. We got her pretty close to where it should be factory. Now she didn't clean up too bad. I mean, it does have lots of paint chips in the front and uh, paint's lifting really bad over there. Like I already showed you all that. This, see this chip, that's gonna have to come off right there. It was lifted. So, and then it's just a bunch of little stone chips the whole way around the front. But it doesn't look too hateful. Cleaned up, it looks decent, okay? So the wheels are actually in decent shape. I actually used super clean on the wheels, hand tires, cleaned them up. A lot of stains on this thing cleaned up pretty well. Um, we're just gonna have to do touch up on all them small things though. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. And then the backup camera doesn't work. The stereo still doesn't work right. So I'm gonna be replacing that. So now that the Avalanche sold, there's funds to throw into this. We're going to do some upgrades, a couple other things, but it's not too bad cleaned up. It looks pretty decent. And I also power washed the engine bay. So it looks way, way, way better. I took that cover off too. Got all that uh, grease and oil out of the top of the valve cover. And then I took my air hose out and blew all the water off the top of the air, the uh, valve cover. So it it's pretty good. It looks really good underneath here now. It doesn't look nasty in fact it looks really good to be honest with you all right so quick trip to the junkyard i just you can pull that radiator out enough if you take the top mounts out so i should be able to get that one up there at the junkyard right there it is on the ground uh 213 millimeters what holds it on and it should drop right out so we're going to do that so that the radiator has something to sit on uh i only need a couple tools this camera needs to charge i'm gonna go grab my old cameras but taking a sign on and we're going to the scrap yard I've been driving this thing so much I've been neglecting this so and this has room and I have to drive through a junkyard so this is my off-road vehicle as well all oh, the AC is so cold 
I am off-roading in the Scion because they had the road blocked off and went straight to the the cruises that I needed to get to. There's broken glass. I don't want to run through that. So I'm <laughs> off-roading right now. This is a rally vehicle. I don't know if you guys knew that. Rally TC. TC Rally Edition. But I'm getting it though. <laughs> yeah. But I'm back. Hey, I thought that was the same Celica that was here before, but that's actually a different one. Yeah, there's a lot of vehicles up here. Oh, now, now they moved the vehicles down there that I needed moved. Whatever. I'll get to what I need to. <laughs> this is my beater, and that's I that's why I don't have it lowered. I would like to lower it, but then it would defeat the purpose of me bringing it to the junkyard like this. So maybe, maybe not. All right, so first off, this is a Sonic. I just wanted to look at it and see if it had any of those connectors that I need. It's not looking like it. So I figured I would at least give her a go. That, this cruise up here has everything cut off of it. I need a bumper pad. Wait, 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 wait a second. And... No, that's a headlight plug. Okay. There's more down here. I did scrape my lip one time, but it wasn't too bad. Two more cruises right here. No connector, no connector. Uh, yeah, just not there. This is probably it right here. Ooh, 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 I found it, I found it. That's, that's it. This is it. It's even got the bulb in it, but I don't need that. I just need the connector off of this. Now, I just ripped that off because I did bring, forget to bring side cutters. Put it right on the edge of this rebar and just ripped it. So there, I got that with a good bit of wire left now i need a bumper pad that's might be it right there but it's so that's how mine look too so i might not be able to get a bumper pad let's see i don't remember no that can't be it because it sticks there's like not very much room for it although that looks like it fits that's not it definitely not that's the radiator mount I need. It's busted off. They look like they're identical. I could just grab that one. That is simple. Let's just do that. Nice that they made these the same. Nice. Okay. Last but not least, the bumper pad. Let's look around and see if we can find them. Okay, so there's a red one down there, and I think I see, I don't have the bumper pads on it. This is the one we took the hood off of, and uh, I wanted to see if there's a rubber, there is a rubber bushing on that. So, we did, hey, there's my tools, I left these here. No, I can't believe that, and they're still here. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so I grabbed the rubber bushing off the bottom of that one. Let's see if there's a bumper pad. This one's pretty beat up. How come? How comes all of these are still here? No bumper pad. I wonder if it's inside the car. Sometimes, you know, co-part. Let's look around this thing. I like the interior and the seats on this one, but. I can't really get into the back of it. I guess I'll just look through the window. Bumper pad, no bumper pad. Don't look like it. No. No. We might just roll without a bumper pad. They're honestly not really needed, but it's nice because if you hit something that gives it a little bit of cushion, sometimes that'll save your bumper from cracking you know what i mean Hi. well we're gonna roll without a bumper pad just because of can't find one uh there was one in the car and i should have kept it when i 
junked everything that I had. I just threw that on the pile with it, so kind of missed out on that. Still having it, but oh well. They're really thin on those, and they, they don't really do much, so I'm rolling without it. Now we have everything to complete the cruise. Six bucks for the connector and the lower radiator mount, so we are good to go. I'm currently injured. Like, I have serious health problems right now this is currently while you're watching this this is during the break that i took weeks ago uh so it kind of like worked out in my favor and that's probably why i took a little bit of an extended break from what i was going to say it's just because of health reasons but uh I'm, and i discussed everything i'm going through in the next episode so there's really no reason of me discussing it right now but i'm not supposed to do anything strenuous uh but i want to finish this cruise and i don't have anything strenuous left on it uh, I just need to get the new hinges on, the hood and the bumper on, and uh, my inner fenders were busted up and I didn't even notice it, so I was putting zip ties in them, got them all pieced back together. So really all I gotta do is bolt a couple pieces on. I'm gonna get some help from my wife, and we're gonna finish this cruise right now. I'm not gonna be able to get any driving footage or anything like that, because I just really shouldn't be driving or anything like that, so. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna do my best. I'm a little bit slower than normal right now, but I'm gonna do what I can, and we're gonna finish this cruise right now. This hood hinge is really bent, but the one on the passenger side was bent too, just not as much. So here is what a good hinge should look like. Here is the hinge I'm taking off. If you look at them, this, I mean, it's, it's all bent up. It's bent up right here on this one. It doesn't latch properly like this one does. It's hitting right there. And you can see the paint off of it right there because it was bent. The other one's not latching right either, so getting the new hinges was a no-brainer.
that wasn't too bad. Mine is zip ties and stuff, everything bolted right up. Uh, my bar up here is still kind of tweaked a little bit, but everything still bolts up and is straight. Like all my lines are straight. So all I had to do is adjust where the plastic clips went in at and everything. And it just it turned out pretty good. I mean, it sounds good. It runs good. It looks good. My paint is amazingly close. I'm sure on camera there might be a difference. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not seeing it with the naked eye. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. So yeah, I think I think I did a pretty good job on that. And that motor sounds good. It's quiet. And this was one of those cars that was just so clean from the auction that I really don't even have to do anything with the interior. I need uh, to clean the floor. I think the floor mats are in the trunk. I need to clean them and put them in. And that's about it. But like now I can check this off the list. I don't remember how to get into the trunk of this thing. There it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. There's flowers in here. I want to go give those to my wife. Floor mats need cleaned up a little bit. They're not bad, but they're not. We'll get those out right now so I don't forget about them. Yeah. Factory carpet floor mats. We'll clean those up because that's that's the only thing it really needs. I don't know why they put them in the trunk. And it could use a vacuum in the back too. I'll give that clothes hamper to whoever buys this. That's like a package deal right there. That's a deal. You get all the crochets and flowers and everything and a basket. All yours with the purchase of a cruise. But not a bad little ride. And honestly, if uh, I didn't have the Scion, this would be a car I would have kept. Low mileage, good gas mileage. These one fours get like 36 or better on the highway. Uh, and they still get uh, like low 30s on, in the city. So they're like really, really good on gas. The thing just looks good. The LEDs look really good with the white, the the bright white LEDs. I just I love it. It looks really really good. I do need to remove this cruise sticker. I don't like that one. So I'm gonna remove that. There's a couple other things I need to do. I like the cruise uh, chrome door trims. I don't know that those are factory, but I like that. I also like carbon fiber cruise badge back where the third brake lights at i kind of like that too so it's it's going to be tasteful um these air fresheners smell great so i'm going to leave those in here but i just wanted to start it up and let it run for a little bit this thing's nice this is a nice little ride and it was also a quick rebuild probably going to add more on the end of this video because i want to clean it up and stuff and make an ad for it and i do want to drive it I'm not going to be in any condition to drive it this week or next week, but I'm on a break, so I can do this some other time. Still not 100% yet. Had the procedure done, three stones removed. Uh, i feeling all right. I'm going to change the oil in the cruise, check the brakes. I'm going to do the same thing to the Kia because it's currently on the lift, so I'm going to do that first. I'm not going to video any of that. Uh, oil changes and oil change it is what it is if I find anything I'll show you but we're gonna take the car to Mexico and uh, we're gonna get some footage well this puts a stop to it I charged my drone up I was getting all ready to go out and run this and get some shots of it and it does sound like it runs good and stuff but I haven't actually drove this yet well I just found something that would have caused an issue I did just um, well I haven't put oil in it yet but uh, new filter and drain the oil out. I haven't put the new oil in yet. I was looking down here and I can see a cut right here on this charge tube. So I got my scope out, got down there and looked at it. Sure enough, there's a hole in it from the fan shroud. Actually, it was from the fan rubbing it whenever this was pushed back. But yeah, right there you can see it. And it, it cut right through it. You can see the holes in it. So. I'm not gonna run it like this because it's just gonna throw codes and not run right. So, uh, whenever I get a chance, uh, if I'm hopefully I'm feeling good tomorrow morning. If I'm feeling good tomorrow morning, I'll go to the junkyard and grab that tube off the one that I got everything else off of. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw oil in this thing. So we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to finish this, and hopefully I can get some footage and stuff like that then. But uh, we'll hold on a second. I'm sorry, but I don't think I've ever seen such cheap 
anything on any car. <laughs> like this, this is very thin plastic. Like, uh, you, you see in that, I could just squeeze it. Uh, but there's one clamp that holds it up there at the throttle body. There's a pressure sensor. And then you gotta get that clamp off of the radiator hose. And then this is just a clip. You gotta pull that clip off there and uh, get it off that way. You don't even need tools for that. You can reach up in with your hand and you know disengage these clips and uh, wasn't hard at all. New day. I got up this morning and I was gonna go to Clark's and get that charge tube for the cruise. Ashley had to go up there anyways because she had an appointment to get stuff done, you know, girl stuff, whatever, makeup and stuff like that, whatever. But I went, I was like, let's just go together. I dropped her off. I went to Clark's, got there, and they're closed. This is 4th of July weekend. This is the day before the 4th. Tomorrow's the 4th. Today's the 3rd, Saturday. Oh, that's great. So I started calling around. A lot of the yards are closed. I found a yard that was really close to Clark's, didn't even know existed, and it's like a family owned business. Nice yard, decent people, and they already pulled the motors and transmissions out of everything. So, like, most of the parts you need, or they just throw them in the car. I said, hey, do you have this charge pipe? He said, well, we've got a couple cruises here if you want to come look. There's one laying inside. I picked it up. He said, 20 bucks. Cleaned it up. We got one to go. I didn't even have to do anything. And I, I said while I was there, I was like, do you have any square body pickups? And he said, he has a whole row of them. So, here at some point, we're going to go up there. I'll get some shots of the yard and stuff. Very nice people. Like I said, family-owned business. They're not listed like, I mean, he said they started putting stuff online, but they don't really have an inventory or anything like that. And they've been open for years. So I'm excited about that, a new yard. Uh, I'll have to ask him about drones and stuff, but it, it's an older guy. He might be a little iffy about that, but he said they'll let you pull your own parts as long as they're small parts. And it's nothing like, you know, no engine transmissions, but they pull most of those. So let me show you. So it looks brand new because I just uh, got home and I cleaned it, it was super clean, sprayed it all off. I moved my sensor over and everything. But yeah, this is an updated version. This is off of a newer cruise. It's like a 2014 cruise. So the part number is just a little bit different. And I, the only difference I could find on this pipe is this clamp style right here. As you can see, it's, it's kind of like stamped, riveted right there, holds that together on the old one it's bolted and that's the only thing i can find different between the two uh part number is just one number off this is like a 12 9 12 something like that this is a nine actually that's the same exact number but not all the numbers are the same but it, it it's basically interchangeable it's the same thing there's there's really nothing different here so Clips already moved over, everything is good. It's all cleaned up, it looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the car. So I just have a couple screws to put in the bottom there to hold that flap up and it's in there. I swear to God, this one came out a lot easier. I just pulled it up through and I tried to fish this one down through and it just was not happening. I'm sure you can do it that way, but I, I just couldn't get it to go. So I fished it up through from the bottom. It was a little bit of a pain, but uh, it's in there and uh, that tube's in a lot better condition and it's a newer one, newer updated version. So. Now, I believe, I believe everything's fixed now. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, so we are in Mexico and surprisingly it drives straight. It's smooth, it's a nice ride. My only complaint is this thing has a little bit more aggressive tires on it. They're kind of like winter treads. And uh, 
the tires make a little bit of a roar. And I don't know if that's gonna reflect on camera, but let me turn the air conditioning off. Slow it down here a bit. Um, and give it some gas. Oh my. These things are not fast at all. This <laughs> thing is slow. Now from a stop, let's go. I like the 1.8 a little bit better. It just, it had a little bit more get-go. But I mean, more possibilities to upgrade, being a turbo, uh, there's, it's simpler to mod, I guess, to get more power out of. There you go. I just took it out and drove it. Uh, no check engine lights, no problems at all. My only uh, complaint right now is the tires make a lot of noise, but they have like a, an aggressive winter tread on them. So they are gonna make noise, but I'm gonna rotate them. Hopefully you know, put a little bit of air, more air in them because they're all, they were all like 29 and 30. So we'll do a little bit more air, uh, rotate them. It might help, but that's they're, they're, that's just the way it's going to be. Um, but I'm happy with it. It's done. Uh, on to the next one. Thank God. As you can see, the C10 was sitting out there where I, I took this. So we will be bringing that here to the house here very soon. I got a little bit of work to do on this one. I still haven't decided if I'm even doing paint work on it. I might just sell it at a discounted rate with the paint chips and stuff on it. But I need to put a battery in it. I need a fix the steering column i need to fix the radio nothing serious but and we might have an issue with the fuel pump i don't know i just put some these engines these gdi engines you're supposed to run fuel injection cleaner every oil change guaranteed it was never done on this um and i was sitting there revving it after changing the oil and it was backfiring and running rough and stuff and uh, I had one of these do that to me and it was the high pressure fuel pump going out on it So I don't know if we're gonna have to fix that on this or not uh, It might just have some dirt in it that needs cleaned out So I dumped the rest of the sea foam in it. We'll see what happens on that. I can actually drive that one It's legal to drive. I don't have to go to Mexico to take this for a run So I, the steering thing really needs to be fixed before I even drive it, but we'll get into that next so if you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing. Smash that dislike button if your mom likes winter tread rubbers. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next episode. Alright.
You're fed now. Are you done being a jerk? Where are you going? When's your brother going to be a jerk when it's time to eat, huh? Miss Pris. She loves her dad. Yeah, she does. Don't you? Hey, jerk. How about, you, how about you just be a good boy, huh? And not be a hellion. Let's do it. Hey, say goodbye.